I am your father. I'll be back. What's happening people of Bikeville? It's Pete with Backdraft Bikes and today we are going to review the Climb Creos Pro. This is an exciting helmet. I hope that you are ready for this review. Hey, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I do have some new merch in. If you want to wear one of these cool shirts and look spiffy while doing it and supporting a good cause, please check out the link in the description for our merchandise. Your helmet, most important piece of safety equipment you can have bar none when you're riding a motorcycle. And it really, if you think about the cost versus benefit of wearing a helmet, spending more money on a helmet to get a safer helmet is obviously a no brainer because we're trying to protect that. But you have to ask yourself on some of the premium helmets, is it really worth it? Let's talk about Climb's latest offering on a helmet. The Climb Cryos Pro. It is top dog, top of the pile as far as helmets go, especially for Climb. Climb has been making some pretty nifty adventure helmets for a while. And this model has now been revised to the Pro model. So what do you get for the money you're gonna spend on this helmet. Well, one of the big things that changed in recent years with this is the ability to order this with a transition shield. So the shield itself is really nice. It's not just a taco shell uh, appearance, but actually has a cutout for this monstrous airflow in the front. And it really provides excellent peripheral vision. But because it's a transitions, you can ditch your sunglasses and leave them at home. And really, you can use this shield to ride dusk to dawn, no problem whatsoever. Here's a video of how the transition works in real time. I'm in a dark area. It's pretty fast. Now I will give a little disclaimer. Climb says that you should not use these helmets after dark. These are only for daytime riding, uh, but it has been my experience that using these at nighttime really is fine. Uh, again, transition, they do such a good job at really having no tint whatsoever when it's dark out. And because it's not an instantaneous transition, usually takes about you know 15 to 20 seconds, uh, headlights aren't really going to make them change. Talk about a few more things on this helmet. This visor is completely convertible. I have it in the uh, highest position right now. Uh, you can lower it down another notch to provide even more sunshade. Uh, also, you can remove it completely, so you don't need it, but it is really, really nice when you're riding and the sun's out. Uh, just like your visor in your car, flipping it down, I've found it extremely helpful to keep the sun out of the eyes. I like the little finger notch that Climb puts in uh, to flip the shield up. It makes it really easy, and there is a uh, vent setting, so the lowest position here kind of clips into place, so if you're getting fogged up, it's really easy to ride with it uh, cracked open. There is a massive air intake vent on the front of the helmet that flips very easily uh, up and down. And this provides excellent intake and cuts down the fogging tremendously. There's also a vent on the very top of the helmet right here that you can click up and down to reduce fogging as well. And when this is open, it really makes a big difference. And I rode in the rain the other day, and I have to tell you that I uh, was pleasantly surprised because I didn't have a lot of water coming in, even with both vents open. Of course, with the mouth vent, I did feel a little bit, but the top vent, nothing at all. Uh, the shield itself is also a pin lock, so you, it does come with an included pin lock visor. I'm not really into those, uh, but I know that they do work good when you're riding in colder weathers. Hey, one other thing too, just uh, a lot of people ask about is the wind noise. I have to say that any helmet that you have uh, for adventure biking that's gonna have a lot of airflow is obviously not going to be the quietest helmet, but I was pleasantly surprised with this helmet. This helmet does have quite a bit of insulation as far as noise, and I think a lot of it has to do with the way that the chin is designed with the uh, 
piece of fabric that goes underneath your chin right in here. And also the fact that there is a lip here, so it's very aerodynamic and the wind flows right up through the top of the visor very easily. So as far as quiet goes, I would definitely say that this helmet is on the quieter side of things. The showy that I had before was actually louder than this one. Let's just take a look at the inside of the helmet because there's quite a bit of features here to cover as well. One of the big sellers on this helmet too is the Fidlock enclosure. The Fidlock system does not have the D-buckle like a normal helmet. Literally, it just clips on with a magnet, just like that. And uh, super easy to put on with gloves and take off. And once it's clipped in place, once you find that sweet spot, it's, it's not gonna disconnect. I mean, it's very, 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 very solid. So no worries on the safety of that. It's also very comfortable. The entire system is covered with a really nice uh, fleece covering. And the inside of the helmet, of course, too, is very spacious and padded as well. Now you might be seeing this, these green honeycomb deals in here. And that's what uh, Climb calls the Coroid system. Coroid is actually used by a couple different manufacturers too to the best of my knowledge. I know my son has a mountain bike helmet by Smith and it uses the same system. Uh, but what this is, is different than styrofoam uh, because it allows airflow to come through, but it actually provides a little bit better crash protection as well. So I am very, again, very into that being an EMT and firefighter. Uh, safety is a uh, paramount concern. So I really do like this. This uh, helmet also is DOT approved, although I know that there's a lot of uh, going away now from the Snell approval ratings. So uh, DOT is as best as I can get on this. There's a breath shield on your chin as well. This is removable. And one of the nice things about the inner pieces on this is they're all Velcroed in place. So it makes it really easy. I know the other helmets I've had have snaps and they're very difficult to line up sometimes. Very impressed with the Velcro system. All in all, this helmet is excellent. The price point is accurate and I love the way it looks, the way it feels. I've worn it all day long on rides and I've had, you know, zero pressure points on my skull. Again, it is a little bit more money than your standard HJC or no-name brand that you can find in certain areas, but it's your head you're talking about. And you have an accident on a motorcycle with a poor helmet uh, versus a helmet that's really gonna give you some safety. The difference in the price is not something that is important in my opinion. Now, if, again, this helmet uh, is has a uh, very good backing from the company Climb and we know Climb makes pretty top-notch gear. I have pants and jackets from them and uh, I'm very impressed, but their helmet, favorite helmet uh, as of yet that I've owned. What are your thoughts? Are you thinking about getting one of these? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for your subscribing. And as always, please ride safe out there. <music>